Hello, guys. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good to see you. Hello, Patricia. Good evening. Hello, Rufino. And Good evening. Patricia Veronica. Good evening. And uh, let's see. Cristela and Luis Tatiana is coming too. So thank you so much for coming early. Let's start with the lesson that we have for today. And uh, remember that we have an activity. We have the presentation, so I hope you get ready for that. Let's, uh, we're going to start first with a review, and then we are going to have the, the, uh, the presentations, right? Give me just a moment, please, guys. I'll be back. So let's get started with the information and uh, we're going to have right now a short quiz where you're going to review the topics right you have said. So let's go to the following link. Vamos a ir al siguiente enlace. So you are going to practice this part of the lesson. Give me just a second to share with you. Uh, I'm going to be sharing this in the WhatsApp group. And uh, maybe here, in this moment. It is about the simple past and present perfect, right? So let's do this quiz. Let's see, okay, here it is. Let's go to WhatsApp. And here I'm going to be sharing this here too. Okay, can you write your name, guys, there? And here it is. Okay, can you go there, guys? Let me know if you can see the link. Okay, let's see if uh, you are joining to the game. Okay, let's see. Okay, Alejandra is there. Okay, let's see, Patricia too. Carlos is there. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Uh, yes, Carlos is there too. And uh, okay, let's see who is missing. Tatiana. Okay, let's see. Rufino, okay. Let's see who wrote Diaz teacher no me deja entrar. Okay. Let's see what happened. Okay. Start with the game. I don't know if uh, somebody is ready. Okay. So let's go with the game, right? We are 11, okay? Most of you. Okay, let's go. Okay, dear. Okay, let's go, guys. And remember, this is a review for the simple past and present perfect.
Angela and Emily and everybody. Let's see, you did a very good job. Okay, guys, let's go back. Remember this is a review for you to practice the topics that we have been studying. Okay, let's go back to the lesson. And in just a moment, I'm going to give some minutes for the others to join the class, and then we're going to start with the presentation. Okay, let's start with this vocabulary activity. So we have these idioms, right? These are some expressions that native people use, right? So they have different ways to say something. So what is the meaning of phone someone? Can you help me with that information, Tatiana, please, please? What is phone someone? Phone someone. Mm -hmm. Call someone. Why don't you phone him and see if he's coming to the party? Okay, perfect, Tatiana. Thank you. So when you say phone someone, it means call someone, right? Llamar a alguien. It is the same. Okay, thank you, Tatiana. What about the next one? Can you help me, Jenny Sanchez? Call it day. What is the meaning? Call it day. Finish work and leave your workplace. Let's call it a day. We can finish this project tomorrow. Okay, like finish, right? To finish your work, terminar el trabajo y e irse, right? From your workplace. Let's call it a day, right? We can finish this project tomorrow. Okay, what about these expressions we have? So can you help me with the first one? Walk away, what is that, Alejandra? What is that? Can you help me to, to read the example? Leave. The store owner will not drop the price of the old model of iPhone. So I just walk away. Okay, that is like leave, right? Like alejarse or dejar a place. That is walk away. Okay, thank you. So what is caring? Can you help me, Angela Duran? What is caring? Kind. My sister is so caring that she let me borrow her new phone we, when mine broke. Yes, right. Then we have caring, that it is some, someone, that it is kind, that it is generous, that likes to help people, let's say caring or kind. It is okay. What about the next one? Rufino, what is the speck of dust? What is that? A speck of dust, a very, very small piece of, of dirt. Be, be sure to clean off any specks of dust of your camera lens before you take pictures. Otherwise, they won't turn out well. Okay, so out well. Okay, thank you, Rufino. Speck of dust, it is like the la mota, right? Or the polvo. That is like the meaning of a speck of dust. Okay, then we have the next one. Can you help me? Patricia, Veronica, please. What is beside the point? Beside the point, not important or relevant. Mm -hmm. I know my phone is six years old and the camera is broken on it. That's beside the point. It still works, so I don't need to buy a new one. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, thank you. So the meaning of inside the form is like it is not relevant, it is not important, like no viene al caso if we want to translate this. No viene al caso beside the point. Eso no viene al caso, right? But that is something that it is irrelevant or not relevant. Okay, what about the next one? Self-reliant. Can you help me with the next one? Let's see, uh, Gabriela Cortez, can you help me with self-reliant? What is that? Self-reliant, having the ability to take care of oneself, independent. Joseph is very self-reliant. Mm -hmm. He never asks his parents for financial help because he wants to take care of things on his own. Okay, thank you, Gabriela. So the meaning of this one, it is like uh, you are independent, right? So that is autosuficiente. You are independent. You can buy anything without the help of others. So what about the next one, entitled? What is that? Can you help me, uh, Luis Enriquez, please? What is the meaning of entitled? Entitled. Excuse me. Adjective. Having the feeling that you deserve something, sometimes without even working for it. My younger brother feels so entitled. He wants my parents to buy him a new computer, but he isn't willing to pay for part of it. He thinks it's their job, their job to do everything for him. Okay, that can be like uh, to give the right or to, for example, to feel that you deserve something, right? Algo que merecemos. Algo que usted cree que se merece something, but maybe uh, you didn't work for it, but you think you deserve it. Merecer. Okay, merecido, too, right? Okay, so this is the vocabulary we have for today. So, ah, uh, hello, Estela, good to see you. Let's wait some minutes. And uh, in the meantime, uh, we are going to complete some activities for YouTube. Vamos a darles unos minutos para que se puedan incorporar more students. Y luego pasamos to the presentations. Remember that today you are going to present the information, right? Pamphlets. Y vamos a decidir who did it, who has done the best pamphlet, right? The best information. Okay, so let's continue. And uh, we're going to talk, we're going to listen about some uh about cell phones, right? It is a podcast about cell phones, smartphones. So uh, do, you, do you have a smartphones, guys? Raise your hand if you have a smartphone. Do you have, yeah, Jenny says that she has. Okay, let's see. Angela says she has. Cristela Ivania, okay. Okay, I ask you this because I have enough personas, there are some people who don't like to use cell phones, right? Or smartphones. Okay, what, what do you think about this question? Is a smartphone a necessity for people of all ages, de todas las edades? Or is it just a luxury item? Or is it algún objeto de, de lujo, let's say? What do you think about that question, Albert? Is a smartphone a necessity for people of all ages or is it just a luxury item or item? What do you think, Albert? Okay, what about uh, you, Rodrigo? What do you think about that question? Yes, are you there, Rodrigo? No, oh, your microphone. Mm -hmm. 
the microphone, I think it's not working, Rodrigo. <laughs> we can't listen, yeah. Um, okay, yeah. much better. Okay, perfect. So, it's, uh, I think the smartphone is for old age because it makes possible the communication in, in different times. For example, in this pandemic, when, when we need to take the distance and we are in, in our house and my family, for example, lives in other house and for, for the smartphone we can we can call uh, call on the audio or video 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 meetings and uh, I think it but what about the point of all ages for example children of four or three or six do they have cell phones? Mm, no, I think the kids. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's it's a it's a wrong idea to to give a cell phone. It's a wrong idea, right? To give yes, a cell phone to kids. Yes, I think. Yeah, I would agree with you, but that depends on the parents. Right? I think I think in sometimes in ciertos. Certain, 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 right? certain, certain times uh, around one hour or two hours a day is okay. It's okay. Yeah, it can be right. That depends on the parents too. Okay, thank you, Rodrigo. So what about the other question? I think I will ask this to the elder ones, right? Gonna ask this one to the elder ones. Okay, let's listen to Rufino. Okay, Rufino, tell us what do you think about this one? How do people who grew up without mobile phones feel about this? Uh, I don't understand. Uh, good uh, question. Um, please, moment. Oh, for example, people. people who didn't have cell phones at all, how do they feel about this? For example, do they agree that it is something luxury? Do they agree that it is good for all ages? How do you think they feel uh, about this? A, a few per, uh, um, mm -hmm. bueno, the, the, the smartphone or, or Android or telephone Android mm -hmm. is necessary for people, um, uh, adult, adult, mm -hmm. uh, mayormente. Mostly, adult, mostly. Mostly. Uh, in, um, con the, with the kid for like, Father, like mm -hmm. parent, uh, care can use uh, the the mobile. Like, um, el luxury eating. How um, a few person uh, do because uh, because have money uh, have money much have money uh, they they buy they buy uh, the the major mobile mm -hmm. or the mo is uh no not necessary uh, only luxury Nada oh, luxury. <laughs> okay yeah i got your point thank you Rufino. okay guys uh we are going to start with the presentations so, is there a group who wants to present right now? Si tenemos tiempo, vamos a seguir with the topic and some exercise. So, is there a group who is ready for the presentation? If not, I'm gonna start with the groups, right? So, is there a person who wants to start? 
No? Let me just, okay, here, here I have the names, the, the groups. Okay, group number one, it is formed by Norma, Tatiana, and Jenny. Are you going to present like this? Yes. Okay. Yes. So let me know. Sure. Recordemos, please, guys, que vamos a elegir al final the best group, right? So pay attention to each presentation. Okay, let's go. We talk about uh, Holy Week and start the presentation with Jenny. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good evening. <sighs> the Holy Week is a popular event in the world and in the El Salvador is not the exception because is the, uh, the this event is one of the most celebrated cultural tradition in our country and is the most intense liturgical moment of the whole year. For many Catholics, it has become a moment of prayer and reflection on the passion and death of Jesus. In addition, these days are also for rest and fun with the family. When the Holy Week is, the Holy Week starts on Palm Sunday and ends on Easter Sunday. This year, Holy, Week's, Holy Week starts in April 10th to April 17th. Where is the event? Where the event is? On Holy Week church all over El Salvador, commemorate the passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Um, Every municipality all over the country has same daily celebration which are established by the Salvadorian Archdiocese. If you want to a memorable experience, you should to visit the follow the follow towns. Sensuntepeque, Suchitoto, Huayua, Santa Ana, San Salvador, and Isalco. The, Salvador, the Salvadorian faith and the indigenous and Catholic tradition form a particularly beautiful amalgamation in Isalco Sonsonate. And Easter is the ideal showcase to appreciate, appreciate them. One of the best seen religious tradition during Holy Week is the procession of Los Cristos de Isalco, organized, organized every holy Thursday and which run through the main street of the town. These are trays that start at two in the afternoon and end until late at night. Next. Okay. What the people do at, do at the event? Holy Week in El Salvador is time that Salvadorians use for player, reflexi, reflection and gratitude. Some activities can you to do on Holy Week. Palm Sunday, April 10, Christians take palms to Macy's and get the get team blaze with holy water. Holy Thursday, April 14, participate in process, procession. Holy Friday, April 15, street carpet. Holy Saturday, April 16, Easter Vigil. Easter Sunday, April 15, Catholic Church across El, Salva El Salvador Art Festival decorate with an Easter cross. Salvadorians do not eat meat. Traditional meals, torrejas, jocotes en miel, and the other. What people eat 
and drink at the event. On Holy Friday, Salvadorians don't eat meat. This is when the families cook their dried fish. This is in addiction, the people eat traditional meals such as torrejas, jocotes, and mango and meal. What people wear to the event. During Easter, the color of the Christian uses to symbolize different moments in the celebration. Uh, for example, purple is the religious color used until the third Sunday is associated to mourning, penance, and sacrifice. Red is the color used on Palm Sunday and it symbolizes the passion of Lord. There are other colors on Holy Week, the Christian use it too. Uh, by the way, uh, Holy Week is coming soon and local and international tourists um, use this time to visit different tourist places around the country. Um, many Salvadorans who live abroad to use it this time to return the country and spend time with their family or their um, uh, friends. And if you want to awesome experience in this country, you need to visit uh, the beaches. For example, El Cuco, uh, Surf City, El Mahawal, La Cosa del Sol, and the others. Uh, it's only that teacher. That was perfect, ladies. I liked the presentation too, right? It was well prepared. Congratulations, ladies. Okay, so let's Thank listen you. to you, ladies. Great job. Let's listen now, group number two, that is Albert, Alejandra, and Stella. Are you there, guys? Let me know if you are going to present. Hello, Albert. Alejandra and Estela, are you there, guys? Or no? Okay, so let's go. Teacher, ahora yes. es mío, pero no sé si es posible que Alejandra lo pueda presentar, porque ahorita voy en camino. Okay, let's do something, Estela. Las voy a dejar para eh, después de quizás casi al final, para que ustedes se puedan preparar y se pueda llegar a su casa, okay? Okay, gracias. Okay, perfect, Estela. So let's go with the next group that it is Claudia, Carla, Veronica, and Luis Enriquez. Let me know if you are ready, guys, please. Hello? No? Hello, guys, are you there? Okay, Claudia, Carla, and Luis. Are you there, guys? No? Okay, let's go with the next group. That is Cristela and Stella, otra vez. No sé por qué están todas las veces, Estela. No sé, Cristela, ¿con quién trabajo? No sé si está. Estará Cristela, are you there, Cristela? No? Okay. So let's go with the next group that is Emily, then we have Patricia and Rodrigo. Are you there, guys? Hello, hello. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Uh, my, my thing is here. Okay. Let me see. Is Okay, perfect. So I will present it. You are working with Emily and Patricia, right? Okay, okay, professor. Yes, teacher. Okay. So let's listen to you guys. Um, uh, yes? Yeah, we can see. Okay. Okay. 
perfect. So uh, we will talk a little bit about the catamarans of the sand girl. Uh, the carnival of Sanger is a beautiful place to visit when with your family or your friends because there you can you can find a lot of a lot of activities to do together and beauty deal yummy delicious uh, dishes and drinks so the carnival san miguel is is the most popular celebration of El Salvador. Here come a lot of people of different places, like the capital city and other countries to enjoy the ambient water. You will find different dishes and drinks like pupusas, you have french fries, kokomal. It is the, the most popular great dishes in the celebration and fresh and liquid fruits. Um, the activities, music in live, you can dancing and sing with the most popular groups of music. And you can, can fun in the mechanical games. On the day, there is a paradise of very colorful and beautiful floods. This celebration is each month of November in Main Street of San Miguel. Uh, that's all, Rodrigo and Patricia, or is, the, is somebody missing? Uh, yes, but uh, the phrase that characterizes the festival is the shooting, is the most famous phrase that the phrase was, was say, the, the mayor of the, of the San Miguel, he, he was I, I don't remember the name. I don't remember the name of the man. So the celebration and end with the combination of the queen of the Caribbean. Thank you, everybody. Okay, thank you, Rodrigo and Patricia. Thank you, Rodrigo. Thank you, Rodrigo. And Patricia. And we know more about the carnival, right? San Miguel Carnival. Okay. Let's see another group. Let's listen. Thank you, guys. Let's listen. Another group is here. Carlos Dubon and Emily. Are you going to present, guys? Carlos Dubon and Emily. No? Okay. So let's go with the next group. That is Maria Luz de Nieto and Maria Veronica. Are you ready, ladies? Yes, yes. Okay, go ahead, please. Okay, let me know when you are ready. Permítame ahorita, ahorita. Ok. Pero me que no pueda compartir la pantalla. Si gusta se la podemos, yo, yo porque soy desde el cel, pero se la podemos enviar, teacher, del grupo. 
Sí, yes, yes, sure. Si gusta, envíes. Ahorita. Ok, por favor. Ok. Nos van a cobrar por derechos de autor. Sí. <risa> ok, let's see. No yet, eh, María. Ahorita. Ok, uh, let's do something, María. Mientras usted me envía la presentación, eh, vamos a escuchar al grupo de Estela. No sé si estamos listos. Estela, Albert y Alejandra. Ya se la envié, teacher. Ok, veamos entonces. Veamos. En el grupo lo mandó. Porque no lo veo. Ok, so, eh, preparemos eso, María. Oh, there it is. Veamos. Ah, here it is. Ok, let's listen this group, guys. So, let's see. Give me just a moment to share, ok? Ok. Ok, Estela, ok. Let me know when you are ready. Okay, let's go with this group. Okay. Perdón por la tardanza. Uh, uh, let's make our presentation. Where I go to presentation the Pupusa Festival. Uh, Integrante este María Luz de Nieto y mi persona. Y Pásenlo, por favor. Next. Y vamos a desarrollarlo en la siguiente diapositiva. La siguiente, por favor. Ok. okay. Eh, el Salvador Pupusas Festival. Eh, where? O lo cuilta, ¿verdad? It is located on the highway de Comalapa, specifically in the section that led from San Salvador to the airport. Eh, when every second Sunday of the November the, the National Day of the Pupusa is celebrated a uh, day is established uh, like a status decree y continua María Luz. Ok, good night. Um, el Salvador Pupusa Festival is very important. Um, the cloth, a typical costume from El Salvador, such as skirt, at sandals, and Salvadorian outfits. Um, um, what people eat and drinks at um, eat and drink at the event, um, beams with cheese, revueltas, a black uh, chipilin, among, and traditional drinks, a coffee and chocolate. In activities, uh, different activities were carried out among then the 
competition of the fastest uh, proposator and the uh, proposers either in which merchants participate and were awarded cash uh, than, thanks to the mayor's office and private companies. Okay, that's it. That's it, Maria. It, uh, it, it is where face to face we will have Browning thing a tasty. Okay, thank you, Maria. Thank you so much. Great job. Very good, ladies. Congratulations. Very good job. Okay, I love even even the big pupils are right. Okay. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you, Maria. Okay, let's listen to the next group. We still have some time. I still have um, Fernando Orellana and Gabriela Cortez. I don't know if you're going to present, guys. Mm, are you going to present? No? No, okay. So let's listen to Andrea and uh, Rufino. Are you going to present, guys? I I started uh, I I started when the person I started mm -hmm. I don't remember because uh, de repente, uh, de repente se cambió a otra persona but I I can can is share screen oh, yeah. um, you can, my you presentation can. if you are ready you can do it. Let's listen to Rufino then, guys. It's a um, ball of fire. It's a small presentation. <laughs> small presentation is ball of fire. Uh, where? Uh, Nejapa City, Nejapa City, San Salvador, El Salvador. When? This tradition has celebrated all 31 August each year. Uh, activities that John the Jones play with ball of fire. They throw to other jokes and the different food and drinks, uh, different uh, como such. Um, uh, chocolate, coffee, uh, and, and food, pupusas, and tamales. In this uh, is is the party. Uh, is the night in this Nejapa. Uh, this uh, tradition and uh, each year. Uh, only only this. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Okay, you have to rush, right? If you don't get to correr, right? Okay, Rufino, thank you so much. So let me know if the last group is ready. I think it was Stella's group. So let me know if you are ready, guys. That I continue. Albert, Alejandra, and Stella, let me know. No? Okay. So let's move to the activity, right? Quiero que ustedes elijan the group that you consider did the best one, right? Okay, so they were four groups. So you're going to tell me. Mm -hmm. I think Lara shared the, his, her presentation in the WhatsApp group. Okay, let's see. Hey, Lara, I think it, it belongs to Stella, right? Let's listen to the last group, right? Okay, thank you, hey, Stella. So let's go with your presentation then. Here. Okay, so are you there, guys? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Okay. 
Okay, who is going to present, guys? Yeah. Okay, let me know, guys, if you are ready. Yes, teacher. You can start, guys. Si busca inicio primero, después Alejandra de Disney Australia. Ok, el festival de los farolitos a Huachapán. Farolitos Day is a traditional Catholic holiday held every September 7. It has more than. How say? Under 170 years, years of exercise and originally from Awashapan and declared in the intangible, intangible cultural heritage in 12. 14. Mm -hmm. 14. 14. Mm -hmm. Next. In presentation. Next. Parte. Esa parte la dirá Alejandra, creo yo. Okay. It is a, it's a, no, it is a celebration known as a celebrated by most of Salvadorians. In the city of Huachapan, the tradition is celebrated without modifications and interruptions since the year 1850. It is believed that following an earthquake. In conception of a taco, it is celebrated since 1897. According to the House of Culture of Ataco, this celebration was brought to the municipality by Luis Sabal. Sisters, uh, placing its origin for 27 years after it began in the city of Washington. Visitors can find music, a stuff of bread, the Spanish churros, the cucos, the mayos, French fries, handicraft sales. Shoes, mariachis, artistic acts, punch, and the Salvadoran heat that is felt. Among the commemorative activities scheduled by the municipal mayor's offices for September 7, 8, 9, and 10 are communal and cultural events such as an exhibition of photograph, battle of values, Ochapaneco Corner, concert of local artists, and the Farley. So are the contest. The day people look out with family or friends to observe the different structure made with these learnings called paralytos and Go to restaurant or return home to spend time with the family. Other people also attend church. Hey guys, I love the your presentation. Specifically, I love the tikkukos. I haven't tried, but they are delicious, right? The tikkukos, I love them. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Estela and Alejandra. You remind me about our culture. Okay, guys, let's choose the group you consider that you want to visit that place, right? Okay, let's see, Mercedes. Okay, if you are ready, Mercedes, if you have your presentation done, you can participate, right? Okay. So give me just a moment just to share with you the link 
for the presentation for the group, right? You consider that you want to go to that place because everything uh, did a very good job. Okay, so let's go and choose the group, right? Alejandra, okay. I'm gonna be sharing this. Let's see. Let me know if you can see the link in the chat box. I think it is going to ask you your Gmail account. Okay, can you verify, please? Me indican if you can. Creo que les va a pedir su correo. And uh, you just have to choose, right? Tiene que dar agree, aceptar. Luego escribe su nombre for example, y luego le da continue, you click continue. Okay, y luego empezamos con start survey, y ahí usted va a elegir el grupo que más le gustó. Okay, so, y luego cuando se termina, lo he seleccionado, vamos a darle click en finish. Okay, let me know guys, please. Okay, I need you the moment for you to choose by. Right? Remember, this is this is for you to see. Okay, I think I want to go to this place. Usted quiere ir al lugar que sus compañeros presentaron, right? We present a lot of places. So basically, we're going to see the place you want to visit mainly. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see, let me know if you finish guys or not yet. Okay. I finished. Okay, thank you Rufino. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys uh, the, the survey, right? Para que ustedes vean the group, right? That you want to go, the one that caught your attention most. Okay, so let's see the place you want to go. And it belongs to Tatiana and Jenny and Norma, okay. And the second place is for Patricia and Rodrigo, right? And Rufino, maybe some of you want to go to your place. Okay, okay, thank you guys. Why do you like that the first place, for example? Case is Rodrigo Y. Maybe you consider that the presentation of Norma, Tatiana, and Jenny was the one that most of us want to go. Uh, I think, in my opinion, in my opinion, the uh, what I can say completely, yes, mm -hmm. uh, is it is very. Attractive. Uh, uh, attractive. The the activity sounds so exciting when the with the explication. Mm -hmm. It is. Uh, it it take my attention. It took your attention. Okay. Very good, guys. Congratulations. Even we have more for Estela and Alejandra too, right? Yeah, and for Patricia and Rodrigo. Okay, guys. Thank you. And Rufina. Okay, Rufina, sorry. <laughs> Next time, right? Next time. <laughs> okay, guys. No problem. No problem. Right, no problem. Congratulations <laughs> to all of you guys. Vamos a ver algunas expressions que las podemos mejorar. Eh, tenemos la palabra established, right? Established. No nos olvidemos de la pronunciation. Established. También algo que he visto es que tengamos cuidado con los sonidos en pasado. Take care with that. Ya para niveles intermedio, avanzado. Y debemos de respetar the pronunciation with the letter ED. Okay. So take care with that. También en español escuché que me dijeron mi compañera continuará. Right. Mi compañera. Y let me just modify this. 
to Spanish periods. Mi compañera, right? Uh, so we can say this, my partner, my partner will continue. Will continue, okay? So, siempre que empezamos una presentation, siempre debemos empezar con un saludo, right? For example, good evening, hello, everybody. My name is uh, your name, right? And then you say, I, I will present, right? Yo voy a presentar. I will present this information. Okay, so basically that was not too much, right? También tengamos cuidado cuando tengamos los modas. Por ejemplo, you can find it. Recordemos que cuando tenemos can, el verbo va a ir normal. No le debemos agregar nada. Nada, nada, right? Esos son los verbos, son los modas. No, sí. También tengamos cuidado con eh, no conjugar. You can, escuché que alguien dijo, you can found. No, esto es en pasado. Siempre tenemos que respetar la estructura, right? You can find the pronunciation. No sé si hay dudas o questions about this part, guys. No questions. No, teacher. Okay. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Ya casi terminamos. Solo recordarles que este día se cierra la plataforma. Para los que no han hecho el, el examen final, ¿ok? Entonces tenemos que terminar el examen final y todas las secciones previas. No sé cómo vamos con eso, pero si podemos avanzar en este momento, it's going to be great for you. Ok, okay perfect. Es la, los que ya terminamos, we are done, right? Hey guys, tengo un minuto, no sé, para despedirme de ustedes, solo felicitarles because you completed this course, right? This module with me. Next module is going to be another teacher, so you can learn anything about it. So, I don't know if you have any comment of the class or anything to say. No? Thanks, teacher. Thanks, teacher. Ah, okay, to Thank you, you. Jenny. Gusto haberlos conocido. Take care. Thank you guys. Bye bye. Hola y seguir. Yes, me too. See you guys. Siempre sigamos haciendo English, right? Have a good night, guys. Thank you. Bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, guys. Take care.